Now this just literally happened an hour ago. My wife just came home and she's telling me there's no cold air coming out of the vents. So let me show you what I found. And you can see with the AC on, there's no cold air coming out of here. So what we're going to do is start the vehicle, turn on the AC, and right here is the AC compressor. If you don't know where it lives on your vehicle, look for these thick refrigerant lines. You have a high pressure line and a low pressure line that I'll show you in a moment. But again, start the vehicle, and let's see right here, this is the clutch, this should spin with the AC on. 2010 Impreza, 171,000 miles. Okay, let's turn on the AC and watch that clutch. So as you can see, this clutch is completely stationary. It's not spinning. So we certainly have a problem within the system. Now you may be thinking we need an AC compressor. They are very expensive. Or maybe we just have an electrical issue and the AC clutch is not engaging when we press the AC button. Now, before we start going crazy and start testing different things, I want to see if we have refrigerant. Maybe we're low or there's no refrigerant in the system. Don't forget, it is 13 years old and it has done 171,000 miles. Now, how do we check this? It's very, very easy. This is something that I showed last year. So I still have it from last year. And chances are you've seen this when you first walk into your parts store. Uh, this time of year when the weather's warming up, they'll have a stack of these. Now this is the Bluetooth model. So we download an app on an iPad, on your phone, and we can see what the pressure is. Or you may find a gauge on top, either one. So let me show you how very easily, very easily, you can hook up this to your AC system. Now because this is the Bluetooth option, I need to download the app and connect this to my phone or an iPad. If you have the gauge on top, you just skip all of this, okay? So let me just do this very quickly. And now we need to find the low pressure port of the system. So right here is the high pressure. And if I follow this line to the passenger side, right over here is the low pressure port. So now we're going to start the vehicle, place the blower motor on its highest setting, turn on the AC and the recirculation air. And now I'm taking the hose and connecting it to the low pressure port, okay? Now in that instant, when I put the camera down, this just clicked on, so now the clutch is spinning. But look how low we are. We have essentially no refrigerant in the system. So let's add some. Now just in case, if you can't hear me, I'm going to press the trigger of the AC Pro and shake the can. And that will add refrigerant in the system. Okay, so let's watch the pressure. There we go, we're getting there. And the AC compressor, I'm sure you can hear it, it's a lot quieter now, a lot quieter. Okay, 16, we need to be between 25 and 50 PSI. Okay. So 27 PSI, let's see what it feels like inside the cabin. Oh yeah, that feels so much better. Much, much better. That's 20 degrees right there. So I may add just a little bit more, but really, really, there we go. Look how much better this is getting, fantastic. So that turned out really, really well. And the fun and cool thing on my end, this was sudden and unexpected. In other words, 
after all of these years doing YouTube videos, I always plan beforehand what I'm doing for the most part and how I'm going to present it. This just happened today. My wife driving home from Manhattan and it's quite warm out. She's not good with the heat. So this had to get resolved today ASAP. Fortunately, I had this in the garage and this I showed on the S2000 last year. Same process. If you want to check that out, you find the low port, insert the refrigerant. And the cool thing is because this is 22 ounces, there's still some refrigerant left over. So S2000, which didn't need that much, Subaru, which was depleted, and I still have some left over if I need to on another vehicle. But lastly, the other thing that comes to mind is if you're not really familiar with vehicles, think how much it will cost you to drop your vehicle off at a shop. They're going to charge you something, without a doubt, just to look at the car. Uh, you have to rent a car maybe to get around, or you have to bother someone uh, to and from the shop. Uh, you, maybe they're not honest and they charge you a brand new AC compressor, 55, 60 bucks, this thing. And you leave it in your garage, you have it for another vehicle. So it turned out really, really well. So I hope this helps as always, and thank you for watching.